Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today we are discussing holiday fragrance. I know, right? I am so excited about this. This is a topic I've been holding out on, but I figure we are deep into holiday party season, so why not? So specifically today, we're going to talk about seven fragrances that basically smell like the holidays and put us in the holiday mood and make us feel all festive and I'm so here for this. So yes, we're gonna get right into it, but first things first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. Lipstick of the day is from MAC, of course, and this is the shade Bad and Bare. It's a neutral brown nudie color. I like it. Els, let me know what you think in the comments below. Y'all tell me everything and I love it. Next up, everyone, fragrance of the day. I wanted something kind of woody, but it still has a little bit of a fruity note to it, and Chloe Nomad gave me what i needed so chloe nomad absolute to be specific this is our fragrance of the day everyone good juice love this stuff so all right everyone we're gonna be talking about seven fragrances that put us in a holiday mood so quick disclaimer a lot of these i have owned currently own will own but i have all smelled i have smelled all of these at some point so none of this is blind this is not a random list i'm just pulling out of the air I really feel strongly about this list and I'm gonna have some fun with it and I hope y'all do too. So all right, let's get right into this list everyone. The first scent we're gonna talk about, we're coming out the gate elves with a classic. It's a banger and this is none other than Chanel number no. 5 EDP. Yes, we have to do the original. Just a quick note, a point, it is considered a powdery floral scent and its keynotes are aldehydes, jasmine, roly, and sandalwood. This scent has been around literally 400 years at this point, and it's a timeless, classy woman scent. I'll bet a lot of people feel like it's a more mature scent, but I think it has stood the test of time for a reason, so it's good. They have different variations of it if you want something lighter, but at the end of the day, when we're talking about holiday glam, ain't nothing like the original, honey. You gotta get Chanel number no. five. The second scent I wanna talk about is from the house of Dior. The second scent is Jador, yes, original EDP. They have so many different flankers now they've come out with, so many different ones. They don't do nothing for me, but we're talking about holiday. I think about the ad for Charlize Theron in her gold dress walking around in her ball gown. This screams holiday dinner party and just class, okay? <sighs> oh my goodness. This is just, you gotta, to me, this is just grown woman class. I mean, the bottle is sexy, it's curvy, it's giving me what I need, okay? And the smell is just divine. A point of reference to the notes is considered a warm floral scent. Key notes are ylang ylang, Damascus rose, and jasmine, which jasmine is just beautiful. And anytime you get a rose in it, that's just peak femininity in a scent. Love some Jador. Good stuff. I had a full bottle of it. I used it completely up. I had a big bottle at that. So this is some good juice. I like it when I dress up and go out, especially on special occasion events. So that's how I can see me getting another bottle of this stuff. But I definitely want to highlight it and put it on this list. The next one, I've talked about this one a lot. I have a whole video to it. Definitely check it out. But you all, this is the holidays in a bottle. This is a newer release. This is a 2021 release. This is Kayali Invite Only Amber 23. This is some good juice. I still stand by it. I'm still rocking it. I love this stuff. It's so rich. Just a refresher for those that hadn't seen the video. This is considered a warm and spicy and low-key gourmand, which I do agree with. Keynotes are amber resin, benzoin, and cinnamon. So yes, honestly, y'all, it's the cinnamon in here that screams holiday. This is giving the dinner. This is giving the food portion of your Christmas dinner to me or all your dinner parties for December. You just wanna smell like food and smell like a sexy snack. To me, Kayali is your way to go. Invite only Amber 23. Christmas in a bottle, love it. Now this next one, I recently smelled it cause I haven't had a bottle of it in a few years, but I re-smelled it again recently and I was reminded why I used up the whole bottle back when I did have it. This is none other than Jimmy Choo, the original Jimmy Choo EDP for the ladies, y'all. And then, I mean, the bottle just looks glam. It screams you need to put on a sequin dress. It's just everything. Or a jumpsuit, you're feeling really extra. <laughs> I love a good sequin moment. The original Jimmy Choo EDP is fabulous. It's considered a sweet scent. It's top notes of pear, 
middle is tiger orchard and the base is patchouli so this one is strong it has staying power and it is a head turner so yes you got to be ready to grab attention and command the room if you're going to put on this jimmy Choo, honey she is good remember the original not the other ones you gotta have the original now another scent that i want to put on this list that i got my nose on but it was sold out at the time i was trying to purchase it so curses but I think it is marvelous. And I think it is the epitome of grown and sexy holiday party. That is none other than Killian's Angel Share. I mean, the bottle literally looks like a craft. It looks like it's holding cognac, but it's actually just the perfume. It's unisex, but I think it is so sexy of a scent. I will say it's considered a warm and spicy as well. Gourmandish a little bit as well. It has um, cognac in it, tonka bean, and oak wood. So this is going to be a heavy hitter scent. It's going to come in the room. And because it's in that spicy family, it has that cognac note. This is definitely giving cocktail party with a little bit of hors d'oeuvres mixed in. Because you need to be walking around if you're wearing Killian Angel Share. You need to be able to leave a trail work the room if you're going to work angel share it just it's that kind of scent and it's beautiful i have smelled it on women i have smelled it on men and it is truly a unisex sense but ladies honey because of that cognac note it turns the fellas heads a little bit more <laughs> so yes this this one of those scents that's on my wish list like in life i'm still mad it was sold out and i was ready to buy it at the time Ugh, i hate that but i have to put it on this list because it's just that good <laughs> This next scent, this one is a classic. I have been rocking this for holiday season. I know at least four years and it's still in my collection to this day. I recently got a fresh bottle of it. And this is none other than the OG, the original. This is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Yes, the original. They have the parfum, which is in the gold bottle. It's nice, a little heavier. I'm not sure necessarily in a good way, but to me, ain't nothing like the original Tom Ford Black Orchid. This is just... Mm. this scent lasts forever it's eternal it's nuclear and it will be in your clothes it will be in your coat it will be in your scarf it will turn heads this is the sexy black dress yes the sexy black dress that's going to turn heads and it's going to be memorable it'll have people asking now who is that when you wear this a point of reference for the notes it's considered a warm floral scent key notes are black orchid black truffle and patchouli that true that patchouli and that orchid combined gave us a new age classic this stuff is fantastic this is one of those forever fragrances for me always in my collection but it has to be cold like it is now it's december it's like 30 degrees here where i'm at it's the only way i can wear this stuff so love black orchid i'm going in about that one <laughs> and then the last thing i'm really excited about this one because I had heard the rumors about this one, but I was kind of like, uh, I mean, it's Joe Malone. I, when I think of Joe Malone, I think of fresh. I think of like really light. I just think of a flower garden. So I'm like, uh, that's more of a spring type of fragrance house and not necessarily a holiday fragrance house. Boy, was I wrong. I learned about their Cologne Intense line, which are the ones that come in the black bottles. And yeah, those are a totally different story. But one scent in particular stood out and it's considered one of their best sellers. And I get why. That is none other than the Joe Malone Cologne Intense Myrrh and Tonka scent, y'all. The girls were talking about it. I had seen it. But I was like, again, it's Joe Malone. It's Joe Malone. So you all, I couldn't help myself and... I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. I was able to smell this in store first. So this is not a blind buy. But when I smelled this, you all, this literally smells like Christmas in a bottle. So yes, y'all are getting a live unboxing. And check it out. This is what it looks like. Black bottle. Joe Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. Let's get into the notes. Let's consider a warm and spicy. Sweet gourmand scent. It has lavender, myrrh, and of course tonka bean. Tonka bean is what makes it more of that gourmand type of scent. Makes it mean like you can taste it, you just smell good. But y'all. This is the clean holiday scent. Mm. I actually would wear this on Christmas morning. Because that myrrh gives it that outdoorsy woody vibe but it's not so heavy because it's still a joe malone scent where it's not gonna completely like knock your socks off but this is just classy christmas morning to me 
Mm. I can't wait to get into this some more, but after even smelling it in the store, I knew I had to have it. So here we are, caught it. Saks was having like a 15% off sale with it. So I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, we're gonna do holiday 2021 right. So we're gonna bring it in with some Joe Malone. And yeah, so Mer and Tonka, extremely excited. This is the new holiday bay for this year and we are here for it. So all right, elves, that wraps up my list of seven fragrances that bring holiday magic. Yes, let me know what you think. What fragrances do you plan on wearing for your holiday parties? I would like to know. And what do you plan on wearing on Christmas morning? Christmas morning, New Year's, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. We're going to put it all in here. We got in full on holiday season, everybody. But yes, let me know what fragrances you are loving and what do you plan on wearing. So, all right, you all. Until the next video. Bye, elf.